making at least 25% of 12-year-olds aren't getting the recommended hours of sleep. And evidence points to problems with learning and memory. So how much sleep do your kids need? This month, the American Academy of Sleep released new guidelines for the first time based on science. Joining me this morning is Dr. Mark Rosenblum from Minnesota's Sleep Institute. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. I know a lot of parents are listening up to this one because it's so difficult. We're hitting summer now to the time where, oh, stay up later, but then it does impact a lot of things with your child. When school starts, we want them to get enough sleep so they can do better in school. Let's talk about, though, what these new guidelines are talking about and how they're different from past recommendations? Well, up until this point, uh, most of the guidelines have been based on anecdotes, meaning you'd have people that are experienced in the field based on their observation would, would come up with them. This is the first time that the American Academy of Sleep Medicine, which is the largest organization of sleep experts out there, have systematically gone through the research and established more concrete guidelines. Which is helpful because maybe it's more accurate and maybe it's mm -hmm. more the parent can understand. So let's break it down for our viewers right now. We've got kids from zero to 18 years old and these new guidelines break it down. Let's start with this graphic. Infants um, four months to one year of age and you can kind of break down the different categories. So talk about the new sleep guidelines for the different ages here. Uh, for sure, all right. So for kids from four months to one year of age, they need anywhere from 12 to 6 hours, which is also including nap time. 12 to 16 hours, yep. wow, okay. And, and including nap time. Um, from 1 to 2 year olds, it's 11 to 14 hours. And from 3 to 5 year olds, it's anywhere from 10 to 13 hours. Uh, when we get into the preteens from 6 to 12, we're thinking anywhere from 9 to 12 hours. And then for the teens, it's about anywhere from 8 to 10 hours. I, I have to admit, that's crazy to me. 10 hours of sleep for a teenager. How does a parent make that happen? And if they don't, let's talk about what the ramifications are. They're, they're big, aren't they? Oh, yeah, clearly. Um, when kids do not get enough sleep, we have clear evidence that there are, they have problems with learning, uh, problems with their mood and anxiety, and even, their, even other health issues. Uh, we have research showing there that when kids do not get enough sleep, they have more trouble controlling their impulses, which anybody who has, is parenting kids know that's a big thing here. That's a very big thing. And so what can a parent do? We have moms and dads that are listening right now. What are suggestions that you have for them? Well, some of the more well-known ones still hold true. Uh, staying off the computer screens an hour before bedtime. Uh, having dim light before bedtime and allowing kids to wind down. We also think uh, as much opportunity to do exercise or really burn off some energy during the daytime is also helpful. Oh, well, okay, so get more exercise, do more activity. More activity, yes. It's yes. going to help with the sleep. You know, this is a tough one. When do you decide to take it to a doctor and talk to a doctor about this issue with your uh, child not being able to sleep or not getting enough sleep? Well, a good start um, is trying to find the information out there, which is what we're doing today. Right. And what I first tell people when you're trying to get the sleep under control, really focus on trying to get the quality first going and then try to work on getting the amount of sleep up. If you're finding that you're having trouble doing that and your kids are having a hard time in school, maybe the teachers are giving you feedback, they're having a hard time focusing or paying attention, then it's a good time to go out and see a, a specialist who can help out with this. But basically, s trying it yourself, doing those little things you know you can tweak at home, try that and then go to the doctor. I, I think so. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think that's great advice. Well, thank you, doctor. We appreciate you shedding light on this important topic that impacts so many families. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here.